Hey, what's up, guys? It's cool here. Um, gonna do a review and a my thoughts video on Fortnite's season event, the finale for season three, chapter four, and what my impression was of it. The short version. My impression of it was that it sucked. <laughs> It sucked. <laughs> like, really bad. It's like being in creative mode on steroids. Now, I, I give a point. Like, the graphics and stuff, um, you know, the, the artwork. The artwork and everything was cool. You know, the, cin the cinematics were cool. You know, the storyline thing cool you know and they, they hit all the points on that but you know when you get when you get to the event and you're expecting that big boss battle not so cool just not cool at all i mean you know you're sitting there kind of like you know jackie chan and rush hour was well, it so exciting so boring yeah, it's that kind of feel. Um, you know, now, if you like Quest, you know, this might be up your alley. If you like Creative, it might be up your alley. You might have enjoyed this event. If you like goofing off, you definitely enjoyed the event. That's probably the only thing I liked about the event. The other issue was I actually felt bad for my group. Um, one of our group members, it was uh, his first event. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, homie. I'm so sorry this had to be your first event. Oh, man. Yeah, you know, it's like I waited all season for this. I mean, like that was the mentality. Not, not, not just from the, you know, my friend, but, you know, all of us, all of us felt like that. Two of the other group members I felt bad for because, you know, one was having, you know, graphical issues, black screening, even trying to get into the event, you know, um, and then the other one who was a console player, Nintendo Switch, I believe it is, poor kid outright crashed the game, outright crashed the game, couldn't get back in, um, you know, it was just, it was just horrible, it was a complete buggy mess for about half the group. Um, oh God, I don't, I don't know what else to say about this event. Uh, we pretty much just ran around, goofed off, ticked whatever quests we came at. Uh, for the majority of the time we were running around like chickens with our heads cut off. We didn't have the slightest clue what the hell we were supposed to be doing other than we were supposed to find and collect this or go and do that, you know, and then it, it's just like, really? You know, and maybe it's because, you know, we're the type of gamers, you know, that we don't play Battle Royale games to do quests. I mean, honestly, if, you know, if I want to do a quest, I'd hop into an MMO. Now, it's fine if that's your thing. You know, I'm pretty sure somebody out there likes it, you know. But in all honesty, it didn't compare to previous seasons, you know, uh, events that we've had. And in some ways, I guess we should be lucky that we even got an event. Uh, Epic has done us wrong on that in the past or whatever, where we didn't get nothing. But, I, you know, I, I'm almost, if I had to compare this to the nothing, you know, I, I'm kind of wondering, maybe we should have got the nothing. You know, this felt more like a starting of the season quest kind of event thing. Probably the only thing I liked about this whole event, other than the fact that it was over, was they did show Hulk, but by the time that hit the story, even that was a big disappointment. Um, I mean, I hate to be given a bad review, but I mean, you know, how cheap do you gotta be where you don't even give Hulk a transform animation from Bruce Banner to Hulk? Yeah, like, Really? I mean, the Hulk looks nice. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, uh, 
probably worth the 1800 V bucks uh even though I I pretty much think it's overpriced but um you know I, I'm sure people will enjoy it I know people that have already bought it uh and I probably will grab it up eventually but you know it, it was kind of a real letdown because usually when they show a character like that at the end of a season finale you know it's, it's kind of like your your hint that they're going to be in the battle pass for the next season and Hulk was not in the battle pass. We ended up with Geralt, which don't get me wrong, Geralt is cool. I am a big fan of the Witcher series. However, you should have advertised Geralt at the end of the event, not Hulk on a freaking bicycle. Makes no sense. But, you know, at least Epic didn't do what I thought they were going to do. I actually pegged them on either, if they weren't going to put it in the Battle Pass, I actually pegged them on waiting another season or two before we actually saw the Avatar. But, no, Epic being Epic, they put it in the store for sale with absolutely no transformation emote built in at all whatsoever. You get two skins, and while nicely done, it's like, yeah, feels like it's lacking. You know, everybody's been waiting for Hulk for the longest time, and it feels like it's been lacking. You know, everybody waited for this season event to hit, and it feels like it is lacking. Um... I don't even know what else to say. Um, like I said, I, I hate to give them a bad review, but but I, I got to be honest, guys. I really thought this event sucked. But um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I mean, did you enjoy it? Um, you know, I mean, you know, hope, hopefully some of you did. And tell me why. Uh, I, I'd be curious to know what about it, um, what about the event was it that was appealing for you? What did you like about it? So uh, feel free to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Yeah, and uh, if you enjoyed the video. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one and stay safe.